All right, so we're going to see a couple of things here with arrays. One thing that's very useful is to learn how to change one number in the array or one element of the array for another element, how to swap them. So say, for example, I want to swap this, this element here, which is element 0, with element 1. If you were just doing it, well, you'd put 1 here and 4 here. But let's try to think of it as a computer. I'm going to put 1 over here. So I'll erase this number. I'll put 1. And then here, I'll put 4. Now, the truth of the matter is the computer doesn't know what happened to that number 4. And imagine if these were longer numbers. We won't even be able to remember which number we just erased. So if we backtrack a bit, we need some temporary storage. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some temporary storage. This number here, pointed by the blue arrow, position 0, we will store in some variable, say for example, called uh, temp. Okay. So in temp, we're going to store numbers sub 0. Numbers sub 0 is 4. So we'll store 4 in temp. Okay. Now, numbers sub 0 is going to get the value of numbers sub 1, right? So what this line means here, numbers of 0 is numbers of 1. What this means is that I'm going to copy the 1 over here. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to make numbers sub 1, which is now this guy, which is now this guy. I'm going to make it equal to temp. And remember, temp is 4. So this will effectively get a 4 in there. Okay. So again, the process is the following. Don't forget about this, these variables over here for the minute. What we're going to do is I'm going to get the 4 and put it someplace else. Then I'm going to move the 1 over to here. And then in this position, I'm going to bring the number that I stored, the number in temp, and I'm going to put it back here. Okay. So the way to do this in Java, we're going to try to do this in Java. We have a little program here where with, with an array that's just like the one that I showed you. And this routine here, what this does, if you look at the other videos, this just prints the array. So if we just compile and run this, it'll just print the array, 41835. Now, what we want to do is we want to swap this with this, or any position with any position, right? So we want to swap the one at position 0 with the one at position 1. So source is 0 and destination is 1. Position 0 is this number, and position 1 is this number. Okay. The way to swap those things is I'm going to create also a temp which is going to be numbers sub source. That is numbers sub zero, right? Because source is zero. And then I'm going to make numbers sub zero. So this position over here, I'm going to have it take the value of numbers sub one. So I'm going to have this position here, position number 0, take the value of the element at position number 1. Right? So numbers sub 0 is now 1, right? Because this number 1 passes over to this side. And then numbers sub 1 is going to be equal to temp. So this one here is going to be equals to whatever we stored in temp, which happens to be 4. Okay? And then we'll have printed. So remember, the array is 41835. With this swapping of an element of the array, we should have 14835, right? So these two have been swapped. 
And then you can swap any two numbers with this as long as you change the source and the destination. So for example, let's swap this element with the first element. So source is still zero, but this guy, or let's swap this guy. This guy's position what? Zero, one, two, three, four. This guy's position four. All right. I'll compile and run, and I get and I get ex uh, and I get this one. Uh, wait one second. Compile and run. Oh, this is my problem. I'm sorry. Numbers, source, destination. I was doing specifically for 0 and 1, but I can do it for any source and any destination. That's the routine. Do it again. And then I... Uh, have I changed anything? Um, numbers of source, numbers of source is numbers of destination, and numbers of destination is temp. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Run it, and then I've effectively changed the 5 with the 4. Okay, so this little routine here swaps the, the element at position source with the element at position destination. We need a temporary variable to store one of the two values, and then we do the assignments. Okay, that's how you swap an element in an array.